Hey, it's Chica, and I'm so happy that you chose to spend some time with me today. No matter where you are or where you're going, thanks for letting me share a little bit of weirdness with you. K- mm-hmm. K-94.5, Shreveport Bossier's number one hit music channel. Hello, I'm Chica, and a 12-year-old boy in England. Just out there walking his dog, he saw something shiny on the ground. Turns out he found a gold bracelet from ancient Rome. It's 2,000 years old. No word on how much it's worth. If you're like, wait, wait, hold on. He's in England. The Roman Empire stretched from England all the way into Saudi Arabia back then. So, obviously, this is epic. And I'm sitting here going, how how did he, out of everybody, how did he find it? I have way too many questions. Of course, I'm over here like, hmm, I, I, I got way too many questions about it. But I did see the picture. It looks epic, and you could definitely, in my mind, I'm like, how do you find that? And look at that and go, oh, this looks like this could be something. Like, to an average kid, it just looks like whatever. Anyway, that's what's making me feel good today. K94.5 Shreveport Bossier's number one hit music channel. I'm Chica. Yesterday, worst rapture ever, 0 out of 10. I was left behind. You were left behind, obviously. You know, so many people were on, were just all these crazy conspiracy theories, right? About, like, the rapture's here. As soon as the eclipse hits, like, the rapture's happening. So, obviously, you and I need to go to church more, right? But I will say, the Google searches that happened after the eclipse... You know, like, what time was the rapture supposed to be? Uh, Google searches for my eyes hurt skyrocketed after the eclipse ended. Peaked about 3.20 p.m. just as the eclipse was maxing out. And that was, like, on the East Coast. But searches for why do my eyes hurt were also up. So my eyes hurt and why do my eyes hurt? Uh, Dude, you just stared at the sun, you dummy. So, if you did stare at the eclipse, the Weather Channel did post a list of symptoms to look out for, like headaches, blurred vision, and a blind spot in one or both eyes. Good news is it usually revol- like resolves on its own, especially if you only peek for like a few seconds. But anyways, see an eye doctor if necessary. But, here's what cracked me up. People have been claiming that they have eclipse sickness, even though there's no evidence that's a real thing. Reported symptoms range from insomnia, fatigue, and no appetite to one woman who claimed it knocked her off her menstrual cycle. Excuse me, what? Nuh-uh. No, ma'am. We're we're not playing this game. We're done using the eclipse as, a, as an excuse to just be just pure chaos, okay? I'm just saying. Let's, let's be smarter the next time an eclipse rolls around, okay? K ninety four five. Here are three things you need to know before you go. One. Oh, there were massive storms that passed through our neck of the woods early this morning. I guess you know, really though, late last night. But this morning, the the storms left this wide just swath of down trees and power lines. And due to the damages, Southwestern Electric Power Company, Swepco. They're reporting that as of 4.30 this morning, okay, there were 10,578 Swepco customers without power. And I'm sitting here going, come on. So um, the hardest hit areas were in South Caddo Parish, including South Shreveport and the Keithville area. Longview, Texas was also hit especially hard. Uh, A lot of people in Marshall, Texas also hit pretty hard. So it's... Ah, uh, I hope you have power. Two. So you remember a few days ago when everybody was excited at the proposition that we wouldn't have to get inspection stickers anymore in Louisiana? Yeah, let's go ahead and scratch that for now at least. Uh, State Representative Larry Bagwell said on Monday that his bill that would have removed inspection stickers has been taken down. He said he's now trying to find a way to get rid of inspection stickers without causing the Louisiana State Police to lose money. So... If somebody's losing money, it ain't gonna happen. Three. An OnlyFans manager is trying to recruit Britney Spears. 
They claim that she could make $100 million a year if she, if she joined the platform. But, but here's the thing. Insiders are like, Britney Spears would never. She has no interest. Bye-bye. Does she? Because when the well runs dry, right? But $100 million a year? Oh, my goodness. Now you know. Now you know. Find out more in the free K945 app. K94.5, I'm Chica, and I remember one of the first things that I had to learn really quick when I first moved to the South was that, oh, bless your heart, it's not like a, it's an insult. It took me a hot minute, all right? I wasn't the one that quickly knew, like, oh, yeah, yeah. So being raised, born and raised in California, right, I, I'd never heard the term, bless your heart. And if I had, it was, I feel like in a very, like a church setting. So it took me a minute for somebody to tell me, hey, that's a, that's a backhanded like compliment. It's not, it's not, it, she's making fun of you. What? Yeah, she's making fun of you. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so there's this thread online and I loved it because people are talking about their favorite insults that don't sound offensive. For me, obviously, it's always going to be bless your heart, where I, I just, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. Uh, <laughs> your teacher always handed your test back face down, didn't she? What? Yes, she did. I admire your enthusiasm. Have you ever been hit with that one? Like, well, yeah, I'm excited, aren't you? No? Okay. Oh, now I see what everyone's talking about. Um, somebody said, uh, <laughs> it's impossible to underestimate you. Wait, now I'm offended. Somebody said, I admire how you're d you don't let your limitations affect your confidence. Talking about insults that don't sound offensive. Uh, and... The top two were, that sounds like something you'd say. And the number one most offensive thing that you feel is just like, oh my gosh. What an odd thing to say aloud. I mean, I say a lot of dumb things out loud, so I have no shame. But of course, um, I think that my favorite one, and I know this sounds messed up, it's, it's poetic, right? Wisdom has always been chasing you, but you have always been faster. Whoops. That would be for me directed to me. I'm just saying your favorite insult that doesn't sound offensive. You know, we got the Southern classic, bless your heart, right? What do you got? Hit me with it now inside your free K945 app. All right. It's time for someone to sit on the big couch. It's, it's, it's time for group therapy with Chica on K945. All right, Samantha, break it down. What are you going through? So it's terrible. My boyfriend and I split up about um, four months ago or so. I was blindsided. I mean, we had been fighting for a while and things weren't great. That's, that's true. But I thought we were working on it and like he just kind of dipped. Like he got, he left for work one day and then just texted me saying like, you know, it's over. I'm not coming back. And I was crushed. It was terrible. And I'm still dealing with it. It's been four months out of nowhere now, you know, because we haven't really been talking. Now uh -huh. he wants to come back and like get all his stuff. We're like, oh, uh, it's okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When he left, was he still paying the the? I I take. Do you guys own this home or? Um. So we're renting. Okay. Um, Did he help you with rent when he left? Uh. Actually, no, he did not. Okay. You know, I didn't expect it honestly, though, because I can afford it, and he wasn't there, so I didn't ask for it. But uh, yeah, so I think now wanting his stuff is really weird. Some of the stuff we bought together, you know, you didn't want it four months ago. Why the freak do you want it now? Like, I don't know. I just seeing him would probably break me. And so I, I don't know. I don't know what to do in this situation. I'm like, I don't, uh, it's also really weird after four months, all of a sudden he wants his stuff. I just like, I kind of just want to ignore him, but I don't know what if, does he. Well, dude, he, like, you, 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 uh, you just blindsided me. 
And and you left, and now all of a sudden you want your stuff back. Oh, boy. Get real. All right. Well, you know what? Let's get you some advice, um, and let's figure out what people suggest you do. Thank you. Got some advice? Message Chica with the free K94.5 app. Shreveport Bossier's number one hit music channel, K94.5. All right. It's time for someone to sit on the big couch. It's, it's time for group therapy with Chica on K94.5. Trying to get some advice for Samantha. Samantha says that her and her boyfriend, they had moved in together. And obviously she said, you know, things happen. They start fighting. The fighting gets out of control to one day he just takes off, doesn't come back, sends her a Dear John text. And he's been MIA for four months. All of a sudden he's back. But he's back because he wants all his things from the house. And she's over here like, I can't even face him. I am so hurt. I am so distraught. What would you do if you were Samantha? Always hit me up inside the K94.5 app. And as always, you know, we'll take your advice right here at 800-9436. All right, Dylan and Bozier, what you got here? You can either, you can open your house and just let him come back and get his stuff when you're not around. But, like, he's a piece of crap if he chooses that option. Like, I think you should use this. Like, you could tell me he can get his stuff back because, you know, you want to talk to him. Like, you got to face you. I think that's... She to- she said that she will probably lose it. And, and and like, you know, she said, I, I don't want to cry. I don't want it to be a thing. But, and it sounds like that's what's going to happen. Like, I mean, I'm worried about her not being able to keep it together. Sure, lose it. Lose it on him. Let him, let him, let him hear it. Let him have it. You know, like that's, I think that's, that's what you should do. Cause it's probably better for both of you if that's what happened, you know? And, but also like I've been in this situation too, where like I went back to get my stuff with a girl and it was different, but like we ended up talking and working it out and I ended up back, you know, coming back and getting back with her. So okay. it could go a couple different ways, you know? Okay. Leslie, what's your best piece of advice here? Do not let him in the house. Do not oh. ever let him in the house. He he left. He abandoned the house. He hurt her. Like, no, absolutely not. He does not get to go in the house. He doesn't get to, like, get a new girlfriend. Now, all of a sudden, he needs his sh- Like, he wants to go back and pick it up. No, Ooh. absolutely not. And oh, I okay. So, a lot. so, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, you're saying that she needs to keep everything. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Like, he needs to hurt as much as she hurt him. Like, keep his stuff. He didn't care enough. He didn't care enough to, like, actually talk to her or to break up in person even. He just, like, dear John her. Like, no, he does not get his stuff back at all. He needs to hurt, too. My girl, Blair, what's your best piece of advice here? So anything that is strictly his, like, he purchases money for it. It's literally just a boy thing that he would be the one to use. I would say pack up, put on the front porch. It cannot be that valuable if he hasn't needed it for four months. All right, Ralph, my favorite truck driver, what's your best piece of advice here? After four months, and now he's wanting this stuff? Um, for one, I wouldn't let him back in the in the house. Uh, I would sack up everything that he wants, and I'd put it out with the trash, you know? I'd tell him if he wants, to get, he wants this stuff, then it's sacked up, it's out with the trash. You can get it out there. Got some advice? Message Chica with the free K94.5 app. Shreveport Bossier's number one hit music channel, K94.5. All right, it's time for someone to sit on the big couch. It's, it's time for group therapy with Chica on K94.5. Samantha, a lot of people have called in giving really good advice, um, but obviously it's your decision to make. What are you going to do? I I really don't want to see him, you know, like just the thought of him coming over. Like I'm try- I, I'm getting, I want to cry right now just thinking about it. Like, um, okay. so I don't know what to do. I, like, I think, you know, maybe I can have a friend contact him, but I'm thinking if I ask him to pay his share of the rent, you know, for the last four months, and then he can have his stuff. And I okay. he'll say no to that. He'll say no to that and not, and not want to get his stuff. I don't okay, know. so you're I basically going to say, hey, those four months that you didn't pay, give me, you know, the, what, what you owe me. And you think he'll say nah. And then that way you could kind of do your thing. Is that kind of what you're thinking? That's what I'm hoping because I really don't want to deal with this. I'm like just even calling you guys. I was so stressed out. Like. It's been really bothering me. I don't know what to do, so I, I think that's the best way because so I won't have to see him then. And, and if he, I mean, hey, and if he does agree, then hey, I got four months rest. Right, <laughs> right, know. right, exactly. And I mean, girl, don't be oh. like seriously. Do not be ashamed. 
to hit up a friend and be like, hey, can you be there for me? Can you do this for me? All right. You know, yeah. like I never mean, be ashamed. Be there, yeah. Absolutely. K94.5, Shreveport Bossier's number one hit music channel. Hello there, I'm Chica. And K94.5 is giving you the chance to win $30,000. You got to listen every weekday. Kicks off at 8 a.m., goes on until 5 p.m. Each hour, we're going to give you a new code. And when you enter it inside your free K94.5 app, you get another shot at winning $30,000. It's brought to you by POE Federal Credit Union. Growing, changing, uniquely available. So, if I were you, I would download the the free, all right, the absolutely free K94.5 app and get ready for the next code at 9 o'clock. You got this? Perfect. K94.5, Shreveport Bossier's number one hit music channel. Turns out that Americans actually agree on a lot. This is all according to a sausage company. This poll by a sausage company, uh, basically it was a, a survey on American attitudes, right? 80% of adults say that they're sick and tired of the anger and negativity in America. 89% want less negativity in the news and social media. I recently had lunch with one of my all-time favorite humans. If you know Mario and Megan Chavez, you know that they're just just a light, right? So my partner and I ha- had lunch with them not long ago. And I felt like I could finally ask him, right? Mario Chavez ran for mayor. He was a commissioner. He owns several successful businesses in town. And I was like, hey. He was like, yeah. And I said, have you ever lost friends because of, you know, the whole mayoral race? Because of, you know, you know, he caused a, a huge stir in town when he was like, guys, I, I listen, we don't need... Like, I, I'm not going to be running as a Republican. I'm not going to be running as a Democrat. And all of a sudden, I remember there were whispers all over town. I was like, wait. I remember people that I thought were his friends were like, oh, they got so mad because they said he left the Republican Party. I remember this. And Mario, I love you. And if you know Mario, <laughs> don't be telling him I'm talking about this. But I remember being upset for him because I was like, those are supposed to be his friends. And I asked him, I said, how many people, like, did you lose friends? And he goes, unfortunately, I I did lose some friends and they didn't want to associate with me. They didn't want to be, you know, my friend because they let, you know, something like this get in the way. And, of course, in my mind, I'm like, good riddance. Because those are the people, I'm sorry, but those are the kind of people that you don't want at the dinner table. You know that Uncle Rick that starts popping off on social media? Right? And you look at him and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. Uncle Rick, shut up. So the Johnsonville Sausage Company that conducted this survey on American attitudes went on to say that a whopping 91% of adults say that they don't have to agree on everything to enjoy a meal together. 71% of us say it's easier if you're sharing great food. 75% of Americans agree that people are mostly good. I think that COVID did us in truly and then I think it wasn't just COVID. I think like, you know, the the election and now, I mean, you got an election coming up, right? Like just thinking about that, right? So how about this? The next time Uncle Rick, who goes borderline racist on his crazy Facebook status, why don't you invite him, invite him over for dinner? We're going to fire up the grill. Instead of the Johnson Sausage Company, I'm sorry, I know y'all conducted this survey. We're going to do Down Home Sausage because we here in Shreveport. And next time he starts, you know, just he starts going off on his bitter pie hole. He's the kind of guy that was like, oh, I don't agree with you. And you're I don't agree with you. We ain't friends no more. You know what? We're just going to shove a down home sausage and just be like, here. Stuff it. We're just going to. You know what? This is the new thing in Shreveport. Anytime somebody gets hateful over politics or anything like that, we're just going to start chucking down home sausages at them. All right? We ain't got room to be hateful around here. It's already divided enough.